cracking day, Glenn. Hey, terrific, terrific day. <laughs> Water's nice and warm, standing in it. So it is for this time of the year, and it's spring at the moment, and the prawns are not too far away from starting to cruise around the shallows. And we're going to go and chase one of your favourite fish, and that's the sand whiting. Yeah, the whiting, very nice uh, fish to eat, sweet as uh, as anything, and really enjoy it, yeah. and enjoy catching them. And good, exactly, really, really good fun to catch on super light tackle. We've got our rods and reels, we've got a spare rod there organised in case we see a bit of action on the way down, but I reckon live worms are going to be the go. Let's give it a okay. crack. Go on, mate. It's only the quick and the dead. I know sooner I was anchored up and you were off running down there with a live worm on. We're, uh, we're, we're pulled up on the sand flat. This is a great area for whiting, isn't it, Glenn? It sure is. And on the way in, I think I saw a few just on the edge there. Yeah, which is, so. which is down a little bit further, but mm -hmm. um, it's just nice to be able to pull up. Like, it's a really fast way to get out and about fishing when you're riding these things around and uh, walking in the water. The water's a beautiful temperature at the moment. We're just gonna feed some live worms and I've got one rigged up here wriggling around. If we can't pick them up here, it's pretty simple, mate. We'll just uh, we'll drift down. down, we'll anchor up, and we'll raft up and have a crack at them there. But first off, we'll walk this edge and put a few casts in and see if we can't find a couple. Come on, mate. Yep, there you go. Bit of an inquiry, mate. Mate, that looks like oh. a good one, Glenno. Yeah. Good start. So then we're in the flats. First one for the day. You hang on to my rod there, and I'll see if I can pick him up. That's a beautiful big sand whiting. Well done, mate, look at that. <laughs> One nil. <laughs> <laughs> I, that'd be right with you. It's, everything's a competition, but that's fine. One nil, he says, and that's a really nice fish. He's probably up around that sort of mid-30s mark. This time of year, the water's a little bit cooler. It's just starting to warm up, so he's probably a little bit finer. Not quite as heavy built as they are in summer when they tend to feed a little bit more heavily. Bit of a trick with these blood worms. So this is actually half of one I've got here. So he's already, already uh, broken off and the head end would be up this way. And you always got to make sure you thread them on head first. Uh, if you don't, they'll segment up and fall to pieces. So little, uh, this is a number four worm hook. So it's got a couple of little, you can't see them, tiny little barbs up the back there. And that'll, uh, that'll help keep that worm on nice and straight. It's just pretty simple, thread them on. I like to have a little bit of tail hanging out the end there, just wriggling around in the current and uh, I've got that tiny little running sinker there and that's the presentation that we end up with. And I've got a bit of uh, super light leader here, a bit of fluorocarbon leader, and then that goes onto my four pound main line. This is a little one to three kilo spin rod, tiny little spin reel, it's a really easy outfit and great for doing all sorts of things. Not only chasing, uh, chasing whiting, but chasing brim in the estuary systems on light tackle or fishing for mullet and garfish, and a little light outfit like this is really handy. Yep, got him. Sunglasses are falling off. Check this out. They float. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Double hooker. I'm out in the weeds, so I think I might have a brim. Ah, uh, just a little, a little brim I've got. Tiny little fella. Oh, and he's back in the drink. He's gone. Could be a whiting, you reckon? We're half a chance, you reckon, champion? Yeah, but I think it's like a brim sort of a bite. You know, brim sort of a bite. Yeah. Can't see it. Can't see it's it. Is whiting a pretty camouflaged? It's you know if it's a whiting light. that means it's 2-1 to you. Correct. Oh yeah, there we are, just small. Just a little whiting. There you go, beautiful little small. fella. Yeah, he's only a little black. Slide him over here mate and we'll get him off and... But we know we've... Yeah, there's lots of those. He's... Oh, he okay. He's got a bit of fat on him. Yeah. Pretty little fish, that bloke. And we'll just uh, trim him off there. There we go. Another nice little whiting. Come back and see him when he gets a bit bigger. Way you go, buddy. Off he goes. Give him a bit of a, bit of a run there now. Got him.
That's a noise you want to hear. A little bit of lines making out there. Oh, that's a nice one. That's what we were looking for. He's a nice fish. You're going to do the net job there, buddy. Do the net and all right. Now that, what do you reckon, Glenno? That's a, uh, a whiting. That's a quality fish. Look at that. And it doesn't matter what you fish for, all fish have their have their trophy sizes. And when you're fishing for whiting, really anything over 40 centimetres is a trophy fish. That one's not over 40, but it's certainly heading in the right direction. He'd be up around that 38 centimetres. Nice, solid fish. But hey, walking around here with your mate, having a cast on the sand flats, doesn't get, doesn't get a lot better, I tell you. That's a nice fish. <laughs> nice one, buddy, or what? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> He, um, they're going a bit quiet, haven't they? They went Just... quiet, but this one took the bait and then uh, went for a run. Yeah, awesome. Where is he? Yeah, that way somewhere. Might be a decent one, is he? Yeah, I think so, from the feeling of the other, oh, yeah, here he the is. other two that I've caught. Might be fish of the day, that one. Hey? So. Oh, there, yeah, no, he's a solid fish. Nice fish. Another good one. Oh, mate, that's a cracker. Look at that. Oh, and he's just hooked up on the net there. Get him away from that. That's a beautiful big whiting. Hang on, and they do take a bit of hanging on to. Mm. Show everyone at home what he looks like. Yeah, <laughs> he's a beauty. Very, very nice fish. Well, there you go. We've done it pretty easy so far. Well, I think so. Flying around on the on the sea doos and pulling up on these sandbanks. But look, the shore's only just there. You can get in against the shore. You don't need to need to have a, a, a flash boat. Or a, or a sea do like we've got to get around and do this. It's just a matter of getting off the couch and getting out here and giving it a crack, eh? Walking off the shore. Yeah, that's it. All okay. right, mate. Great stuff.